Our property is absolutely beautiful when it snows. I think it's my favorite time of year just because of what it looks like. I have an itch, but my snow pants are on. <laughs> I can't get it. I feel like a preschooler. <laughs> it's like on my knee. <laughs> Too many layers. Let me see what you look like with your goggles on. <laughs> You, you look like the dad hanging over the yard and honey, I shrunk the kids. <laughs> I can't help but think of that. Every time you put on this headset, brings back childhood memories. <laughs> See what the brook looks like on this frosty day. <laughs> oh, I'm jealous. I can't see it, but you can. <laughs> So this week, while we've been getting some stuff done around the acreage, you know, working on some of the renovations inside, ooh, I'm trying not to fall, I can't help but be incredibly thankful. I don't know, this week I guess I've been doing a lot of reflecting on this journey that we've taken moving here to Nova Scotia and just like how much joy and happiness it's brought our family and the goals we had for coming to this acreage and goals we had for renovating the house. and overall thinking about how many people told us that this was absolutely the most ridiculous idea ever although we had the same sort of comments when we were starting our YouTube we had so many people be like what are you doing you're investing so much time money and effort into something that might not turn into anything I read or actually saw a quote online the other day when I was on Instagram and sometimes every once in a while you come across those quotes where you're like oh man that really hits home but it was if you lay in bed and dream your dreams are gonna be in your head, in your bed. But if you get up and do something about those dreams, you can make dreams a reality. So dreaming in the day, not just when you're sleeping. And so I think we turned our nighttime dreams into daytime dreams, into making action, into doing what we wanted to do. And I think it was the best decision that we ever made. We had a very small handful of people behind us cheering us on. And then of course our YouTube family came along and started cheering us on even more and here we are being on our acreage and just looking at how far we've come in the last year and a half as many of you know our story we had moved across the country the other direction to help a family member and things kind of went sideways there we ended up coming back to our house in Ontario with literally nothing to our name didn't know how we were going to buy groceries Philip's mom and dad helped us out and we're like bet on yourself try to do YouTube you know the goals that we had and cheered us on and within just a really short amount of time, we were able to get back up on our feet. We hustled, we did everything we could. And then those dreams led us into seeing that we could accomplish other dreams that we had, like moving to Nova Scotia and renovating an old house like this. And now doing things like adding animals to our homestead and really like putting some life back into this abandoned property. And I think that we were maybe just what this house needed. So just while I've been walking around this week, getting ready for the horses to come, you know, tending to our animals for winter, just doing our homesteading things like adding our second wood stove, preparing for Christmas here with our live Christmas tree and just, you know, reflecting on everything. It's just like come full circle for me for this week. So if you have a dream in mind that you're thinking about doing, like, what are you waiting for? Get on it. <laughs> you can do it. I promise you, you can do it. Even the greenhouse is looking so pretty in the snow. 
I want to make a forged wreath to put on the front of the greenhouse this week. So I'm definitely gonna see if I can fit in some time to do that. As you can see, we have our corral post a little lopsided, but we absolutely were rained out all last week. We had heavy rain the entire week and the lovely family that's cutting our slats from us on their homesteading mill were delayed due to weather. Unfortunately, we can't control the weather here. So we're still waiting on our slats for that. So this project is not finished yet. Hopefully, fingers crossed this weekend or early at the beginning of the week, the slats arrive and we can put them on. Because this needs to get finished up in the next week or so. Uh, Philip? Well, what day is it? <laughs> I've, been, I've, I've been out here cutting wood and piling wood for days and must have fallen asleep. How, how long do you think you've been out here? What day is it? No, really, what, <laughs> what day is it? For the amount of days it took us to get this wood in, you deserve to not know what day it is. <laughs> So Philip has all of the wood in the wood shelter that we had left over from last year that was piled on the driveway up by the garage and then we have all of the wood that we ordered from this year and so this is supposed to hold six cords and it fit everything we needed it to absolutely perfectly and you can see that it holds this wood really nicely looks pretty with the snow surrounding it so Philip comes out at night gets us our wood for the evening and then we reload for the next day. You don't want to keep too much wood inside the house just because of bugs and critters and snakes living in the wood. So I like to come out every night before we all go, go to bed and get a nice fresh pile of wood for the night and it just gets my physical activity in. Is this what you call physical activity? <laughs> I mean, it was pretty slippery last night. I, the, you just slipped into some donuts, did you? <laughs> The quad did it. I didn't do it. It was the ATV. I was tucking the boys into bed last night, and all of a sudden we heard this on the whole side of the house. Fill out on the ATV, getting wood. You definitely getting wood. <laughs> So we actually didn't know when we put the wood shelter up that we were going to be getting our horses. And so although this looks really great in this location, it's actually in the spring, once we've used up our wood for winter. Why? <laughs> why, hun? Why? No! It just needs to stay! <laughs> Wait, do you want a wood shelter or do you want a horse barn? <laughs> I want a horse barn. Unfortunately, the wood shelter is in the spot where the horse barn is now going to go. We originally thought we were going to put the horse barn over here, but then we can't see the horses. So if we put the actual horse stables that we're building here, where the wood shelter is, we can see it from our kitchen window and we can keep an eye and then our paddock fencing is going to be all around the perimeter of this side into the woods and into the acreage. Our little wood shelter is going to get tucked along the tree line back there along our trail. And then I know, hold on. It gets our, better. It gets better. It gets be <laughs> but wait. It gets better. No, we said we were gonna revamp the barn. And we are. It's just we're gonna revamp the barn over there. So the mini barn, actually yesterday was supposed to. Yeah. But weather did not allow it as we got the most snow we've had yet here in Nova Scotia yesterday and in through the night. We had a really bad winter storm. But this barn is going to have its temporary door on the front here closed up, which is why we halted on building our barn doors the other day when we started building our egg laying box. But this barn is going to get moved all the way over there. Why is it getting moved over there? <laughs> well, for good reasons. One, we need a spot to keep the hay and the straw dry throughout all of our seasons here. And we do get a lot of rainy seasons here. Everything molds here right. if it's and not it, kept. We could keep it in the garage, but there's a lot of stuff in the garage that we don't want that dust or the hay or the straw to be kicked around in the garage. Just doesn't need to be there. So I think what we're gonna do is move the chickens and ducks for the winter. They're gonna have a nice, cozy, warm setup. And they don't need, like in our comment section, they don't need all this big room. If anything, it's too much. So it, it was just here when we got here. Like this was not really, like it's not like we built this for the chickens and ducks. Like it's way overkill. Built, no, we didn't build this for the chickens and ducks, but we did get chickens and ducks to build our son Dayton's heart bigger. So no matter what we had, we had to get the chickens and ducks. This just turned out to be a perfect little spot for the chickens and ducks for the time being. Right. So they're going to get a really nice build upgrade. They are going to get a really nice build upgrade, something more specific for the ducks 
and the chickens. And we're also going to do a pond for the ducks in the spring, but we're getting ahead of ourselves, but that's exciting to kinda, look forward to. Not really, because it all fills in together because we are going to need some dirt to build up the foundation of where we are going to build the barn. So to get the dirt, we're going to dig the hole for the pond for the ducks. We're literally going to kill a few birds with one stone yeah. here. So the mini barn is going to get put the mini barn is going to get put over beside our corral. Our wood shelter is going to go along the tree line. And then our large barn, which is a 24 by 42, with two indoor stalls, an outdoor stall, and a tack room, is going to go in the spot along the edge here where our wood shelter is. So big changes happening on the outside. And one of the changes is going to be happening this week because our friend Allison is going to come back. We are contracting him to do a few jobs for us this week. So he's going to help us move the barn. As you saw in previous videos, along the front on the ground here, under all of this snow, there's a whole bunch of wood that needs to get moved so that we can actually relocate the barn. <laughs> we need to dig it out now. <laughs> Did you say we need to, and then we, you pointed at you, me? You need to dig it out now. <laughs> yeah. so we're this gonna, is some of the physical activity I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, this is some I need of the, it. <laughs> so we are going to dig out a bunch of the snow here so we can move these slats. And then when Allison comes, we won't have anything obstructing where we need to jack up the barn, move the barn so that we can build the door and do the revamp on the barn over on the other side because it doesn't make sense to add any weight by the doors or any of that that we're going to add to it until we move it. So a little bit of a backtrack, but it's all for a good cause. I'm not going to do what everyone thinks that I'm going to do. <laughs> Oh, YouTube family, life with boys. <laughs> Woo! You okay. dusty. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. dusty. Do you want to trade off? I, I couldn't see where I was going. Yeah, you're not even on the road. Open, open up the back. We need to show. This is why Elise can't see, because we went and got all the horse bedding that we could, jammed in the back of the FJ. Wait, I'm a good driver. Yeah, <laughs> under certain circumstances. I couldn't see where the road was. You're gonna get us have to get a tow out of here. Oh yeah. Oh, and wrapping paper. We couldn't even find a spot to fit the wrapping paper. You film me, let me see if I can do any better. If I can even get us out of this. Go forward and get back on the road first. <laughs> oh my goodness. I really can drive well, YouTube family. <laughs> We're so way off the road. It was nowhere near our driveway. But you actually can't see. He's off the driveway too, in all fairness. <laughs> Off the road. <laughs> oh my. You literally can't tell where the side of the driveway goes down because of how, how deep the snow is. And we just got brand new tires, so you really can't tell the difference between any of it. Let's get this out. Run a few miles down a desert road. Stare too long at a cheap wood rose. It's fixing something that's been broken. Okay, so when we were at the feed shop, the gentleman that was helping us to load in the pine chips 
he had challenged himself because the day prior he had put 13 bales of this pine shavings in a Ford Escape. And so we were able to fit 15 in our Toyota FJs. Not bad. So we're moving all the slats that were on here. They did these, they did these to be able to make a ramp going up to the barn. But what they did was they like cross hash as many boards as they could. We found some really weird animal poop down here. I don't know what kind of animal does that kind of poop, but pretty gross. And unfortunately, all this wood is not usable. Like we knew in the spring that this would eventually all get burned. It is so soggy. It, it, I don't even know if it's gonna burn. Well, it, it won't burn right now. But we're trying to get all this up because you can see how much wood has just been layered underneath. Of all kinds, there's some painted blue, there's some green, white. <sighs> Messy. As if the ramp's there, there's no way the barn's moving. So it looks like it's been storing multiple piles of our chicken feed, which would kind of understand what that gross poop looked like, I guess. Ew. Ground chickens. What? Do you think it's just weasels like we had in the house? Can we keep it on? <laughs> oh, YouTube family. I guess we're gonna find out. Cause all this is moving. And then I wonder if we're gonna find like, when we move the barn, what are we gonna find under it? Cause we know that there was a farm on this property before. They just had cows, right? You think they left a cow? No, I don't think they left the cow here <laughs> turkey. <laughs> but we might find some cool things. We'll have to metal detect over top maybe. We got all that wood moved and literally, would you believe, there was that much wood used as a ramp and you can see it's totally not usable. It is so saturated. It is so gross. It's moldy. It's just crumbling. I think we're going to even have a hard time burning it. It's just so wet. But we got it out and it's ready now for us to be able to release the barn without all this debris in the way. We're so muddy. Yeah. <laughs> We're so excited for everything that we have to come. And today, since we just had about seven or eight days straight of rain and then our snowstorm, we had to get out today to get some of these outdoor projects done because we know we're gonna probably be inside for the next week, which means that we can get working more on our pantry renovation and be inside where it's warm with the wood stoves roaring and not be stressing about a few of these last minute outdoor things we need to do to get ready for the horses. We go pick up their hay this weekend. There's a local family that we're gonna to support to be able to get our hay from. So our horses are gonna be really excited when they get here and everything is here that they need. We picked up horse treats and I'm gonna do a few fun little DIYs for them. Boys are working on a welcome home sign to put around our corral. Hopefully our slats, fingers crossed, arrive this weekend so we can get those things finished up. And then Allison will be coming over this week to help us move the barn. So we're hoping for some decent weather, at least for an afternoon, so we can get a few of those things finished up. But we have a lot more to do on the interior. And yesterday we put up our Christmas tree. So it's starting to feel a little more real that Christmas is coming. We never leave decorating for this late, but this year, like, you, like I said, we've been working on so many things. 
and we were able to go get our Christmas tree up and just enjoy an evening. It's so fun to measure the boys' little hands on all the ornaments they've made over the years and just look at all of our handmade ornaments we've been making with them every year since they were babies. It's our favorite time of year to open up that box and see all the things we've made with them and just the memories throughout the years. So we hope that you are getting excited about the holidays. Thank you so much for all of your support. If you have any questions or wonders about what we've got going on right now, leave them in the comment section. We love you and we'll see you on tomorrow's episode.